Dan Hyman. I'm an assistant professor in bilingual education. And today, um, as part of my class, uh, Bilingualism and Multiculturalism for English Language Learners, we were talking about uh, how do we integrate home languages into our classrooms. And as an extension of that, one of the questions that I ask students is how do I go beyond just providing linguistic support and actually integrating manifestations of culture? So being that this is Day of the Dead, Día de los Muertos, I wanted to integrate that holiday in a way that would be interesting for students, but also as a way to contextualize it into the current sort of socio-political context. So historically, Day of the Dead is a way to honor and celebrate those relatives who have passed on. And there's ways that we go about doing that. We go to the cemetery and we clean, we clean their tomb and we make an altar in our house and we put some of the favorite things that they liked, food, drink, hobbies, et cetera, as a way to celebrate their death, which for many people that might seem kind of strange for me before I encountered Day of the Dead, I, I looked at it as being a sad and solemn holiday. Um, but I wanna show students that a cultural manifestation from Mexico around death looks very different. I think that they should know about this, situating this into their roles as future teachers. So with this installation, we specifically were addressing the massacre in El Paso that happened in August. It was sort of an extension. I was teaching the same class in the summer and this happened. I was like, how do I get students to reflect upon this? So we actually decided to rally in front of the union to bring attention to what happened. So I, specifically worked with a master student art education of, around this installation about the deaths in El Paso. And I wanted students to see how, how different people are, 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 are sort of transforming what Day of, the Dead, Day of the Dead means for them. And this is what Day of the Dead meant for Marta Samarindo Cadero. It meant that she felt that she wanted to speak up about what happened in El Paso. So her altar, was dedicated to the 22 victims that were killed in El Paso in August. 